Agent Trader released 8.0.25.0 after about six months of no major updates. Now this is a little unusual considering the number of releases that they've done in the past. So what have they been working on? Why did this take so much longer than others? We'll get right to that right after this. There are about 50 fixes and changes done in this release. Now there are about nine that are really important that you should probably know about, and there are 41 that are probably not gonna affect you in any way. So let's hit off these one by one so we can discuss them and make sure that you're kept on top of things. Now, by the way, if you have not gotten our free ATM pack that we provide to the NT community just for supporting us through these videos, then feel free to grab them on our website, xabcdtrading.com. It is totally free. There are no catches. There are about 25 templates in all with some advanced stop movements. Uh, even if you want to take these templates and then modify them to make them your own, by all means, it's a great starting point. They are a great way to reduce your risk automatically and a bunch of other things that you can do to automate some of your trading. 15010. Now this is Windows 11 compatibility testing and that was completed. However, if you are a TD Ameritrade user, uh, the legacy account authorization mode cannot be supported on Windows 11 as such. They say TDA users are advised to continue to use Windows 10 until further notice. So unless you use TDA, feel free to upgrade. Everything works as usual. We've done it on Windows 11. We've seen no problems, so we can confirm that. And uh, by all means, uh, keep using Windows 11 unless you are a TDA user, TD Ameritrade user. 15018. Now they remove the ability to share a screenshot, for example, via stock tweets. Now this can be done through an alert that would automatically share a screenshot. Um, but for whatever reason they removed it, it was in the very beta, I believe, of Ninja Trader 8. Uh, and they have since removed it. I'm not sure why, but they have. Now, if you're not sure how to use these share connections where you can either post something automatically to Twitter or Facebook, um, we have a ton of different NT tutorials on our YouTube channel that I encourage you to check out. All the ones that have blue thumbnails to them, you'll be able to tell instantly. They're all NT tutorials or something about NT that's going to teach you something useful. They're all done in hopefully under five minutes. We try to keep it and they are all ad free. So you don't have to watch any commercials before you watch our videos. You can just whip through them. If I can suggest one thing, NFP day is not a really good day to trade in my opinion. Uh, so load up the, the playlist of all our NTA tutorials, watch that throughout the whole day. We'll keep you busy and you will be a ninja, no pun intended with Ninja Trader. 14896. Okay. So they now support Trader Workstation 985.1G and Gateway 981.3C uh, for interactive brokers. So if you're wondering what I was talking about, these are platform desktop installs of uh, the TWS or Trader Workstation for interactive brokers. If you don't use interactive brokers, this won't apply. Uh, I've heard from a lot of people that do, so I imagine this would affect a lot of you, but uh, they have done uh, an upgrade to support that. Now, Ninja Trader has also 14865 uh, fixed the ability to, uh, when Ninja Trader would not reconnect, when interactive brokers didn't auto restart, so that's been resolved. And uh, Bitcoin mappings were updated for interactive brokers as well. 14968, so this is your trend channel plots. Uh, they could not be selected in your alert conditions. Again, if you're not sure how to set up an alerts for your uh, channels or anything else in NT, we do have a ton of tutorials on that. Um, but 14968, uh, now you can select your trend channel plots within your alert conditions. Now I've heard from a lot of people as they watch these videos are also doing the upgrade at the same time. So while you're doing all of this, you might want to grab our XABCD news tool. It's super handy. It's totally free. Um, what it does is it marks economic news events on your charts with a big line going down your chart. It's actually not that noticeable. And then when you click on it, it tells you what that news event would be. So that way you never get surprised at news that's creeping up on you. You know why price all of a sudden had that sudden movement, that sort of thing. Uh, so it might be handy. It is totally free. We give it out to the community. 
Uh, there is a pro version. I will tell you that extra features have gone into, but if you just want the basic free one, it's there, it's there for you. So grab it at cbcdtrading.com. So 14904, if you've ever seen this unhandled exception error, it ha might have had something to do with closing your chart with an indicator on it. It's been resolved and it's nice to know that the platform is really becoming refined now and a lot more stable than obviously the first release. But um, now that we're on what number 25, these sort of uh, bugs that are being fixed are really starting to refine that platform and I, I like to see that. 14974 this has to do with submitting unmanaged orders and this could be in like real time where things could freeze uh, 14821 was another one where the playback connection could cause freezing this has been resolved again this has to do with little minor things that had possibly caused freezing issues before they've now been fixed so i like to see things like that 14894. Now, after an ATM strategy closes, the quantity field could not be reloaded from the template again. That has now been resolved. If you've, again, used our ATM pack, you'll know what I mean, but that issue has been fixed. 14964, the text drawing tool. So, one you can select and then write text on your chart. Uh, it does not initially show in all charts. That has now been resolved. 14889 now this has to do with a ruler in currency mode so if you're if you're looking at a currency and you're using the ruler it did not show a negative value before and now it does so that will basically wrap it up this release was about half the size of a lot of others and it took them twice as long to come out with it so my only suspicion as to why this takes so long is because they're getting less and less bugs to fix but also i I think they might have been waiting for that Windows 11 certification to happen before they released it because it was about, I think, a week after uh, Windows 11 came out that they actually came out with their release. So I think that might have something to do with it. So if you want to stay in touch with all the changes that are happening in Intro 8 and you like these summary videos, I do encourage you to subscribe, like the video, it definitely helps us out and would be a great way to support the channel. If you have any questions or any comments, uh, feel free to post them below. Until next time, we'll see you soon.